Oaks. It's 26 June at 8.26 a.m. And uh, just wanted to uh, let you guys know our itinerary for today. So we are heading to Norman Lake Campground on the Icefield Parkway uh, in Banff National Park, camping for the night. Um, and then the next morning, we're gonna have our wedding ceremony. So we decided that, uh, you know, we were planning to find a venue for a wedding and uh, we both looked at each other one day and said, hey, we love Alpine, why don't we go and get married in the mountains? So we have been living in Lake Louise uh, for almost uh, four and a half years now. And we have hiked uh, and uh, did a lot of backcountry trips. This year we're doing the Great Divide Trail, session C and D. So we decided that uh, let's go where it all began. So Norman Lake Campground is where we started our first journey of backcountry camping. So. I'm going to take you guys up on our journey and uh, show you how our wedding works out. Okay, so we're starting a bit late than we expected. Um, one of our cars broke down, so we had to backtrack to Lake Louise and fix it before coming here. But we are at Norman Lake parking lot. I hope that there was a better sign here, but there isn't one. So right off the Glacier Lake, it's about 15-20 uh, minutes and then you will come to this open field. There's Mount Coleman in front of you. Just wanted to show you guys our start. We're heading and we're going to be staying just at the Norman today. And tomorrow is the ceremony for wedding. So eight of us have started the hike and this first session is a bit uphill. Um, so you gain most of your elevation doing this first switchbacks. And if I remember them right, they are pretty killing, but they're not bad than if you go all the way to Pinto and do that five kilometers coming up towards Sunset Pass. Those ones were definitely killing. Seems like so far we're just in a nice dense forest. It went to the Ran into a fallen tree. I know there's a waterfall here. 1.45k. And it opens up. Still can see Mount Coleman. So it's just a side trail. Just still killing the switchbacks, 2.26k. Yeah, you can see behind me. The views are opening up. We're at 3.7 kilometers. And it seems like we're gonna reach a junction. So at this junction, the trail forks straight or it goes to your left. Left is where the Sunset Lookout Trail is. And if you do have a time on your itinerary, definitely do it. We're just on a sunset lookout trail. It gains quite a bit of elevation. We're just gonna get the lookout. And just look at that. Wow. And this is the beautiful spot. What? Look at it.
without your smart mouth Drawing me in and you kicking me out You've got my head spinning No kidding, I can't pin you down What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride And I'm so dizzy Don't know what hit me But I'll be alright My head here today to witness the formal joining of the first of Arab with Melody Marie Spencer. I pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out You've got my head spinning No kidding back from our trip um, it's 27 June today um, and I am uh, I'm so glad to say that uh, I'm actually married so the wedding was absolutely stunning it was perfect um, yesterday last night when we reached the campground uh, you know we got we got enough wood to get the fire going uh, we had we made a nice cooler in the creek so we were able to chill out some beers and uh, some pop and some wine and uh, we, we had a great time at the fire um, just want to say thanks to all my friends who came and I'm glad that some people actually um, did not even do any backcountry trips so this was their first backcountry trip so I was so glad that they were able to push that uh, switchbacks all the way up to Norman Creek Camera and the wedding day was perfect I mean it was so stunning she was dressed she looked so beautiful and we did all we had the music we had we hadn't even hit an aisle where she was walking in this beautiful meadows we were absolutely stoked and we are so glad and blessed to live in such a great area to enjoy this as our back here i'm glad that i was in subalpine getting married so let's talk about the trail so right from the first picnic bench there is a side trail or it, it, you can see the trail and that trail is which takes you to Sunset Pass. So if you're going towards Sunset Pass or Pinto Lake, you're gonna be taking that trail. I would also just carry gators if you're wearing shorts. If you have full hiking pants, you don't have to worry about gators. Get this time there just because of the wedding. Uh, but we were there last year and uh, we were stoked. 
The views are absolutely awesome. Descending from Sunset Pass is around 5.5K towards the Pinto Lake. And uh, those switchbacks, if you're coming back the same way, they're definitely tough. They're one of the toughest switchbacks we've done. Uh, so be prepared for those switchbacks if you're coming back. And I'll start early right now. If you're gonna be attempting to come back the same way if you're camping at Pinto and coming towards Norman, because it's quite hot right now. So starting early will give you that nice breeze while you're actually hiking up and you'll not feel overheated. Um, Pinto Lake Campground is, uh, it's in White Goat Wilderness, so you'll, par you'll pass park's boundary. Um, the campground, there is no fee. It's, uh, you know, make sure you clean after your, uh, clean after yourself. And then there's also washrooms and there's also bear hangers, so carabiners will be helpful there as well. Um, from Pinto Lake, there's quite a bit of trails you can do. Of course, you can go towards Klein River, come out of near Abraham Lake or you can go, which is actually a GTD trail, uh, from Pinto towards Michelle Lake. And it's a longer hike, so I'll give like at least four, uh, three nights, four days if you're doing that trip. Uh, but definitely, if you're in that area, do this trip. It's awesome. And until Norman Creek, I will say even for kids with families, it's such a great campground. Um, you know, you can access the, the streams, if it's hot like this, you can definitely take a dip in the stream. And there's also a lake. When we were there the first time, it was so hard to find that lake. But this time, I was I was just sitting at the log at the fire, and I got up and I turned, and I saw this big lake. It's at the very end. So right from the campground, um, it's towards your left-hand side. So when you're walking towards the campground, it's on your left at the very end. That's the Norman Lake. So if you want to take a dip at Norman Lake, definitely do. Stay safe and make sure you enjoy the beaten paths. Alright, thank you for watching folks. See you next time.